right, Leo, this is your reading for October 2019. And as, I, as I've told everybody else, oh, Lord. <sighs> as I told everyone else. Um, sorry, a lot of cards came out. Um, I'm just going to be doing videos whenever I can. So I can't make any more promises, but I'm going to just try my best because I do enjoy doing this but um, I know I've been MI and I thank you followers that are still here and um, oh Lord and for those um, that are new so for your reading um, for the month of October I do see that there is hope um, although or you, that you were you, you're gonna be hoping for hoping and wishing for something um, due to the sorrow that you have due to the possibility of somebody leaving um, and being sneaky feeling like they're getting away with something um, because there hasn't been any like there was in any equal give and take um, due to Possibly a three-party situation. Having option, needing um, somebody's making because somebody um, made a decision. That decision could have possibly been to leave. Um, I did do a reading earlier, so I kind of have the gist of kind of what may be going on in October. But when I was doing the recording, I didn't know the audio wasn't hooked up. Um, But, yeah, I just see that somebody could be moving. And not being, um, not providing stability. And yeah, just leaving everything that's um, been worked towards. Um, and like going on to something else. The person that you're dealing with in October um, let's see, may feel like as if they're not able to manifest um, everything. I feel like it's so funny because this is really kind of like the other reading but more in depth there's way more cards um feel as if they may not be able to mani manifest everything they want and they made a choice based off of that decision or based off of that um perspective <laughs> that's crazy i'm so I'm low-key mad that i deleted the other um video but there was no sound like nobody would have watched that anyways but there was the um ace of swords so basically um feeling as if they can't there's a sense of not being able to to provide everything that um that you may be and i'm mixing both of the readings because it's basically the same thing the card just this card came out as far as the person you were dealing with um but literally granted you have more cards but literally when i did the reading last time this was the exact card that was here by it was by itself this card was over here in the middle this card had came out with a big group of cards um like midway through the reading that I just did for you guys but was mute okay um but yeah so just like the feeling it so basically before I proceed like maybe I should just do the rest of the cards but basically the gist that I got from the last reading was that um the other person had a lot of options um they didn't feel like they could provide you everything that you dream of or they even dream of as and it kind of goes hand in hand with like not feeling like they can manifest everything um, and 
them making the decision to walk away was a gist. And I kind of feel like I get the gist from this as well, especially with the chariot card. Um, and you also still having the um, five of cups in reverse. But I just feel like they weren't able to give you everything that you deserve or they felt like you deserved. Um, I did feel a sense from that reading that they did care about you, but they were... Um, they were on the fence as far as providing commitment to you. Um, I mean, we'll get more clarification and see. Maybe there is a re reason why I had to do this all over again. Um, but we'll get clarification as to, like, who you're dealing with if you're single. And, um, oh, gosh. Um, and who you're dealing with. Um, if you are in a relationship, um, let's see. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I do feel like I do feel like the reason why all this happened, all this is happening in October is just, um, because it's fair. Um, that could be fair to you, fair to that person, or just fair for both of you guys at this point. Um, and I feel like somebody could have taken, taken advantage of, somebody could have taken advantage of A bad situation to begin with um, your Oracle card is strength and wisdom that's funny because you literally had literally this is almost the same exact reading that's crazy except literally more cards a lot more cards because um, you had the Oracle card that came out before was to um, to like seek wisdom um, and it was like and or guidance from elders or something like that literally was what the last card said um, and here you got strength and wisdom um, so I would say if you wanted to do that what the other oracle said that would be fine as well but I think overall strength and wisdom will come out of this situation um, in October person you're dealing with I feel like they don't they don't feel like they have the time oh my god why all these cards um, they don't feel like they have the time and they don't know how to look at the situation nor are they committing time to like try to figure out the situation um, in October. Oh my God, okay. I literally have cards everywhere. Um, card vomit. <laughs> like, this is a lot more cards than the first time I did this reading. Um, but I feel like not everything will be brought to light, but I feel like some things will. Um, but I feel like also that some things are are an illusion to or th some things may not be what they seem because some things are hidden so I feel like you'll get a glimpse of some truth to this situation but I don't think you'll get the full picture um, if you are single okay let me see how I'm gonna do this I feel like
like the dynamics of the relationship. There may be sleep, a lot of sleepless nights, you or that person. But I feel like you guys will both be holding your ground mentally and, and um, mostly mentally. But I feel like you guys will be holding your ground, um, being, being present. If you guys do speak, it will be like honest, precise and like to the point I don't think there will be too much like jumping around um seeing these cell cards some of these cards are just like straight sideways I feel like there is trouble creating what you guys would like out of the situation and um it's kind of it is a good sign that I see that the emperor and empress together um but it's like on the fence like there I feel like there's the potential I feel like there's the potential of something really special. I think that you guys both know it. But there is doubt in, in your abilities to make that happen. So whether that's both of you, I feel like it may be both of you. I feel like there is doubt that, that it will work out. Um, and kind of a sense of being a little selfish and trying to protect yourself and what is yours. Um, yeah, and just like the unwillingness to take that leap of faith with each other. So if you're in a situation ship and you're just talking to somebody or something like that, that's the dynamics I get from there. Um, ooh, I don't know how to, I feel like since this is right here, I'm going to just put this here. Yeah. Um, if you're in a relationship... I don't feel like whatever is happening in a relationship, whatever hap is happening is not fair. It's just not fair. Yeah. And I can see that because, I mean... You have these cards just sideways they're not even they're not they're not one way or another so it's like you don't get and the month of October with this relationship I don't feel like you come to a conclusion or understanding or anything like that at all is what I show here um, overall for whether you're single or in a relationship I feel like in the month of October um, you will feel as if you're not fighting as much anymore. Because um, this could have been a battle internally, externally, um, and you're just really finding your balance. Um, but again, we have this, this, we got this three of cups in reverse again though. So I do feel like there's other parties involved in this situation whether you have the other parties or they have the other parties um i do show that again this is a general reading so take it as it resonates um i feel like the month of october will be extremely life-changing there's a lot of major arcanas in here you could be dealing with pretty much like any sign um could be dealing with a libra we have the Justice card twice. Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius are the cards that stick out to me the most. Yeah, because we got the Aquarius, we got the Aquarius twice and we got the a uh, Libra twice. So, yep, that is my reading for you guys for the month of October. Thank you for watching. If that resonates, um, be sure to hit that thumbs up, and I will see you when I see you. Thank you guys.